It is so sad that despite the level of civilization globally, we in Nigeria still condone some, some sort of archaic and barbaric tradition that ought to be extinct. What are you waiting for? An explanation. An explanation on what? On why Tundi and Usman are to represent the department in the Intercampus Engineering School competition oh. instead of me. So you really want to represent the department? It's only right, sir. I'm the only student on first class in the department and I've been preparing for this since year one. You see, that is what you think. And that is how you see it. But the department has made up its decision and there's nothing I can do about it. Huh. You're the head of the department. Young lady, as you can see, I have a lot to go through. I think it's best to leave now. Is it a crime to be a woman in this department? I work hard, you know. Harder than your boy. Woman, if you do not leave this office this minute, a first class student might end up having an extra year. So I guess you leave now. Like this. Okay, so she did it like this. She knows not to use Naomi for example. I never said it is strange. It's so complex. Don't be lazy. We'll figure it out. I won't. I will just choose another course. Don't instead. say that. It's not as difficult as you're making it sound. Easy for you to talk. When you smash all the guys with your level. It's just hard work in camp. And discipline. I know what I want and I strive hard to achieve it. Regardless of your department or your level. In order to succeed, you just need a disciplined mindset and a hard working spirit. Okay. Bring your report. Dad. It's mom. Oh, mommy. Good evening. Can do you want to kill me? Mommy, I thought I already explained to you. Explain what? Explain what? Eh? Your school closes in two days' time. So what are you now saying? I know, but I have other academic engagements here. You will not give me that. One. Don't give me that at all. Eh? That will never happen. You hear me? Okay, you know what? I promise. You have to come home. Hmm? Okay, no. okay. It is your daughter. She's refusing to come home. Please talk to her. <clears throat> Hello, my darling. I'm fine, Dad. Uh -huh. So, uh, what is uh, this about you not wanting to come home? Why do you like to upset your mom? Hmm? Daddy, don't mind, mommy. She's just being dramatic. Hello? <laughs> Who is being dramatic? 
Come see. All your lecturers put together, they are over dramatic. Mm -hmm. This is your daughter. She's not okay. Uh, Turn on speaker. Yes, the phone is on speaker. And don't mind that, you are very okay. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, listen. You are coming home for the holidays. Exactly. Hmm? Uh, uh, I don't care what you have going. Okay? But dad, you said one there's always saying I should chase success in my academics. Hmm. And this one holiday is not going to make you a failure. Hmm. Mm. But daddy... Uh, that's quite enough of that young lady. Hmm? I am coming to pick you after your last exams. End of discussion. But dad... I said, end of discussion. Have a lovely night. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, hey. Who loves you? You both. <laughs> That's my girl. Mom, did you have the case for now? Oh, God. News reaching us from the palace is that Oba Akintoye Kosoko was found dead early this morning in his chambers. The source of his death has not been confirmed, but the preparation of the Oro Festival is in process. The Oro Festival is usually observed in the western part of Nigeria after the death of a monarch. And that's really sad. Meanwhile, road users flying through the Lagos Ibadan Expressway should take alternative routes as the trailer just fell off the road and the traffic is a standstill. And, and it's really sad what has just happened to the monarch. But then I, I'm very much aware um, what the tradition is about this whole thing. But uh, anyway, we we'll just see how it works out. Eriwoya. <laughs> Afa <laughs> It's wonder you're not talking to me. Are you still angry with me? No, Dad. I'm just tired. I'm tired of everything. Okay, what's up? Do you think there's gender equity and fairness in society? <laughs> Where's that coming from? Did someone do anything to offend you? My head of department refused to let me represent the school in our intercampus engineering skill competition. Ah, why? Well, I spoke with him and he said a lot of things, but honestly, I couldn't pick a single thing, single point from all he was saying. I just seriously think it's because I'm a woman. Ah, <laughs> no, well, I, I hope not. I, I, I really hope not because that, that would be very wrong. I'm sorry, sweetheart. It's not fair. I prepared for this, Dad. I prepared to prove to them that a woman can succeed in a male-dominated field. To prove to them that, to, to, to be able to earn their respect. I prepared for this. Look, I understand, my dear. Hmm? I understand. But see, you do not need a competition to gain their respect or, 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 to, or to measure your worth. No, no, no. Tell me. Who is the first female student that will graduate with a first class from your department? No, 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 tell me. Who is that student that organized a tutorial for her fellow female students who are struggling with mathematics and engineering? Hmm? And uh, to top it all, who is the best daughter in the whole world? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, my dear. Hmm? You don't have to prove your worth to anybody. Hmm? Come here. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know, I know. I do not have any uh, competitor. <laughs> uh, that, that's the smile that I've been looking for. Go to the back, go to the back. All the people. Go to the park and hide yourself. Hide yourself. Hello. What's up, Manike? 
Please, I beg you in the name of God. I make sure you are lying flat, lie flat. Oh, come see, come see your chuku. Are you war? Are you war? Are you war? Are you I don't understand. I don't speak. Arabic don't bend over there. Arabic. I I don't speak. I don't understand. Where is the woman in your car? Woman? There's no woman here. I'm the only one. I'm alone. Oh, sorry. Go back. Let me around. Hello. Oh, I'm not even doing bo. Let Let me look. I don't speak. I don't. Your life is precious to you and that of the woman in this car. Oh. Ali. Thank you. I, I, I will leave, sir. I will leave, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. I, I, I will leave. This is it. This is He's not standing here. Oh. Oh. Hey, oh. He's not. Hey. Oh, no. Please, oh. Hey, oh. He's not playing. He's not moving, oh. He's. He's not entering here, oh Jesus, oh. Hey, oh, he's not entering. Hey, hey, please, 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 oh. I beg you, please leave her alone, oh. I beg you, in Jesus' name, please, please. She's my only child, oh. Hey, come she, come she. She's my only child. She's my. So who loves you? You, Dad. You got that right. Me, not your mom. Don't tell her I said that. Don't tell her out. Come see. Come see. Come see. With the disappearance of Kamsi Yachuku Okoro, Eniton Alakija, and Aisha Mohammed, youth from around the country are taken to the street of Ikorodu to seek the abolishment of the Oro Festival by the government. The question on the leaves of a few are, how would you leave such a festival that caused the misfortune of females? And some members of the community in response says that the tradition of their forefathers must be upheld. We are waiting to see the response of the government in regards to this situation. My name is Edith Abba, reporting from Awake Television News. Thank you.